You're late again. You know how your father is when it comes to catching trains. He wants you at the station a good hour before it leaves. Here, it's for you. For me? Oh, thank you. And you? Oh. Thank you, Lisa. What do you and think about this tie? Done. It's a present for my father. Oh. oh, I'm sure he'll love it. Oh, it's very pretty, I think. Oh. Oh, there's the telephone. Now do hurry and get your things yes. ready, won't you, girls? Oh, dear, I don't think your mother liked this tie. I hope my father does. They'll be leaving at 1, and it gets in tomorrow morning at around 7.30. Oh, so they're coming down by train. Isn't that going to be awfully tiring for them? I mean, they could fly so easily. I know, but I'm so scared when they're flying. And besides, planes are never on time these days. Well, hold on a minute. Goodbye, Maria. See you after Christmas. Yes, all right, Mrs. Strati. Have a good time. Thank you. Sorry, dear. Prepare Julio. I've just seen Lisa's present for him, and it's the most terrible tie imaginable. A real yucky turquoise with the hand-painted design. Oh, my goodness. Poor Julio. I hope he doesn't wear it to the hospital, otherwise I'll have him committed as insane. He's a complete essence of sobriety. You'll have to lose it quickly in a deep drawer. <laughs> Has Lisa been behaving well? Oh, of course. She's always sweet. She's never behaved badly, not when she stayed here with us. She's certainly no angel here with us. Still, I do miss her. Give them my love, all right? Everything ready? Yes, sir. All right, then, let's begin. Blood pressure and temperature? Normal, sir. All right, scalpel. Swab. Retractors, nurse. Keep swabbing. Another retractor. Another swab. Hemostatic pincers. Suction. Daniel. Yes? Is this the last? Yes, we're finished for today. All right. There. Closing incision. As soon as you've finished, have her sent up to intensive care. I'll check later. Telephone for you, sir. For me? Yes, sir. Thanks. It's your wife. Ah. Hello? Yes, darling, I finished just now. Oh, doctor? No, no, what I trust you your choice. Mr. Beretta's x -ray? Shall you I don't really need help from me for that. Yes, thank you. Well, I guess so, yeah. Yes, all right, dear. I'll come along. I'll meet you there. 
About half an hour, I imagine, all right? Ciao. Uh, listen, Pauline, I'm going out now, so if anybody calls, tell them I'll be back this afternoon. Right, sir. Where is everybody? Don't you realize we're meant to be at the station oh, by now? I'm so nervous about these things. Calm down, dear. You know we've never yet missed a train. Hurry, girls. Well, don't blame me. We missed this one. Did you get the cigarette? Yes, I stole two packs from you. <laughs> Hurry up. Come along, girls. Tell me, what do you find so funny about us being late? You realize if it wasn't for me, you'd never catch that train oh, for you. Oh, no, stop it now, Margaret. This is hardly the time for your silly game. Well, late as it is, so stop it. Good morning, Doctor. Ciao, girl. Shall I prepare for surgery? No, I don't think it's worth it. What is it? Well, they just put in an accident victim, Doctor. Poor fellow went under a bus. I don't think there's any use operating. He's in a deep coma. You better change your attitude quickly if you don't want trouble. Even if the chance is remote, you must operate, right? All right, let's go. Call my wife, please. Tell her I'll be a little late. Yes, sir. Are you sure you have everything? Come along now. We must hurry or you'll miss it. We're hurrying, dear. We're hurrying and they're not going to miss it. She's wearing worth a few bucks. Well, enough. Filthy rich. I can find some empty seats. You stay here, all right? Listen, if you should see Robert, Very Russell, just say funny. hi. <laughs> Excuse me.
ready. Go ahead. Allow me. Here. Thank you. I think we'll be better off in second class. We can disappear here. Nobody will find us among this much. I wonder what the jails are like down in Austria. What are you talking about? Huh? No one's going to catch us now. We're thinking about jails, huh? You think? Mistake. Nothing. They're packed in like sardines, I'm afraid. Well, not to worry. Hey, let's have one of the cigarettes. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I forgot to bring the lighter. <gasps> Go ask for a light. You ask. That fellow no, over I'm there will give you a light. Come oh, on, ask. I know. You look tired, Joe. Yeah, I'm tired, all right. I'm paying for a seat and having to stand. Go on. Uh, do you think I could have a light? Sure. Thanks a lot. without having to do any biology, chemistry, or history. So what? I'd much rather be spending this time camping or skiing with people our own age. Yeah, but Margaret, Christmas is a family reunion. <laughs> you mean I'm stuck with it whether I like it or not? Oh, it wouldn't be so bad. At least you've got me along. <laughs> hey, tell me what are the kids like in Italy? <laughs> Same as in Germany. They all like the things that all us <laughs> kids like. <laughs> Well, it's bound to happen sometime. The thing to decide is, well, whether it's better now or later. Yeah, I agree, though. You really gotta find the right guy first of all. By the way, you never did tell who you did it with first, did you? You promised, remember? With that guy in the third row. <gasps> with Helmet! The one with thick glasses and acne! <laughs> <laughs> You're still a virgin, so go to hell! <laughs>
try leaning against the wall, you get a great feeling from all the vibration. Go on. Yeah, you're right. You think of everything. Isn't it good? Yeah. Was it an emergency again at the clinic today, dear? Mm. Yeah, poor fellow got hit by a bus. But he's still alive, or he was. Look, what do you think of those over there? This is the kind she wants, isn't it? Looks well made. I must say, I still have reservations about giving her one of these. It's no good worrying. All the kids have these motorbikes now. It's a marvelous way to get around. And besides, Lisa's a young lady. Yeah, I know. Uh, have you seen one you like? Yes, I think that orange one. In fact, we'll take two, one for my niece. Oh, that's a very good choice. It's one of our best models. The only thing I would suggest is that it may be better to select another color. The orange might fade. I suggest maybe a black or even dark blue. Black, blue, orange, white. It really doesn't matter, right, Julia? <laughs> Whatever you think, dear. I think maybe this one. You've changed your mind, Doctor. Last summer, you said you'd never let her have one. They're too dangerous. I know. It's amazing how children can change your mind, isn't it? Or something wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah. We don't have any tickets. Can I see your tickets, please? Oh, yeah. Wait just a minute. You put them in your bag. Oh, uh, yeah, you're Can right. I see them? <laughs> Let's see now. Where did I put them? Ah, here we are. Four of them, right? One, two, three, four. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. May I have your ticket? My girlfriend is in the toilet. Just a minute, please. Very well, thank you. It is man who has created this terrible immorality that threatens to destroy everything that's good in our society. Religion and philosophy don't mean a thing these days. We're on the brink of anarchy. One of the problems of democracy is a policy that liberalizes decision. In other words, the average man is incapable of making sensible or moral decisions for himself. No one likes the idea of a totalitarian state, but China is proof that it works on the whole. But I mean, there must be a workable compromise between the two extremes. Don't you think so, miss? Uh, yes, because if we exist under a totalitarian government like China, it defeats our object entirely. I couldn't agree with you more. The point is, I'm not trying to pretend I know the solution. Believe me, I wish I knew it. I'm simply presenting the various possibilities, the various choices that we have as a society to overcome the problem. Unfortunately, those systems that work are under...
Passports and tickets, please. Thank you. Passports. Thank you. Leave me alone. Please go away. Leave me alone. Don't do that or else... It's occupied your own business. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, uh, stop that now. Hey, come on now. No knives, huh? Let's get out of here. For God's sake, stop it. There are kids. You're crazy. For Christ's sake, what are they playing at? Somebody ought to call the police. Hurry. They're crazy. It's out cold. Why don't you leave him alone? They're crazy, those two boys. What about her? She meets someone and doesn't end up talking. She's as crazy as them. Stay on the train, sir. Why? What's the matter? Stay on the train. Attention, please. Attention. All passengers are requested to remain in their places until their passports... Passports. Have been passports, please. I repeat. And open that all bag, please. are to remain on the train. Stay on the train, please, miss. I just wanted to go and make a phone call. Sorry, miss, but I can't let you off the train. But it's the last chance we'll have to warn my friend's parents of the delay. All right, then. Thanks a lot. You 
It says there is another train. Yeah, and you won't have to change in Verona. It leaves in about 15 minutes. All right, we'll take that one then. Just a moment. Hello. Hello. Ah. Good evening, lady. Good Sorry evening. I'm late. Don't worry. They say they think there's a bomb on the train. I don't want to go back on that train. What do you say? Well, what are we going to do? My parents don't answer. They must be out. Well, I found out there's another train, and we don't have to change at Verona. We can catch that one, okay? Sounds like the best idea. I'll just call a friend. Hello? Is that you, Marie? It's Lisa. No, we're on the way. And there's no one at home, so can you call later and tell my parents we'll be in... Uh, what train is it? It's the one that gets in a half hour earlier. We'll be there half an hour earlier on the direct train from Innsbruck. All right? <laughs> Thanks, Marie. Ciao. Not this one, it smells. This one's all right, come on. Ooh, all this room, what luxury. Here. I wish they'd put the heat on. This should help. Here. Put this around your legs. No, it's all right. This will be fine. Oh, okay. Oh. I wish Helmet had come with us, too. With his acne and his thick glasses, you're joking. <laughs> I'd be a lot less nervous if he was with us, Lisa. Having a man by your side is a nice, safe feeling. Listen, go to sleep. With any luck, you'll dream of your helmet. Think those crazy boys got off the train? I just hope they got put in prison. Now go to sleep. Hello, darling. Sorry I'm late. Hey, that's beautiful. I don't know what I'd do without you. You always do things so marvelously. And you are always late. Saving electricity? Let's have a bit of light. We're having a dinner party. The house should be bright and happy. It's Christmas. I'm sorry, dear. I seem to have forgotten something. Merry Christmas. You finished your role as patriarch a couple of hours ago. And who was your special nurse today? The blonde one? 
The one who suddenly got promoted? Well, I can only tell you that some are better than others, and that girl earned her position. Yes, I can believe that she earned her position, all right. Laura, what's the matter? Don't you understand we simply no longer communicate? But the blame is yours, Julio. For years now, I've been living with you, but I haven't been your wife. Hello. Thank you. Ciao, Laura. You look more beautiful every time I see you. Are you still in love with your husband? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Decalaurent. Put it over there. Yeah, that's it. Come on, this way. Let's open the champagne. Good. Good. hungry. <laughs> anyway, it's something. I kind of like dinner by candlelight. You know, I've been thinking about the future. Yeah, what? In 8,000 AD, there'll be around 66,668 people per square yard of Earth. Meaning? <laughs> we should eat up quickly. <laughs> Who's here? May I have this dance, my dear? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Ma quelle chance, madame, vous dansez. Oh, what a nice pair you got there. They feel so good pressing against my manly chest. What are you doing, boys? Leave the girls alone. If you say so. You needn't be afraid. I won't let them hurt you. Oh, how beautiful. They were celebrating with a real Christmas dinner. Now, that's what I call very sweet. May we join in? Here you are, dear. We don't want to take everything. Please, can you give me a light? I never spoke.
Is he sick or something? Just wants to puke his guts out. Must have been your sandwich. <laughs> Take it, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Come here. You want a little nip, Chief? Sure, why not? Keep the cold out. Get strong stuff here. Hey, leave some for me. Sit down and relax. Why are you looking like that? What's wrong? Haven't you ever made love? Tell me, come on. Don't tell me you're a virgin. No. All right, then, say it. Say, yes, I've done it. What are you frightened of? Say it. All right, yes. No, I want you to say, I've done it. All right. Yes, I've done it. Now watch us. Watch us!
that terrible thing in the paper the other day. A young boy got killed by a big dog while he was stealing some apples. How awful. That's ridiculous. To think a boy is killed like that just because he stole a few miserable apples. Well, yes, I agree. It's awful. But there was a notice up on the gate. It said, beware dangerous dog. It's the boy's own fault. No one's blaming the owner, Julio. But the blame is really ours. It's society that's created violence. That means us. How can you possibly blame us people for violence of that kind? Because we are responsible. And apart from that, it's up to us to try to do something about it. You, for example, Julio, you help people who are already very ill. But the point is, we should prevent the illness in the first place. Uh, well, yes, I understand what you're saying. A society must try to find a preventative to violence, and I agree. I think we should start with children. We need more control, a better rapport between school and, and family. Things like boredom and lack of exercise can lead to violence. That's why I think we should make all kids play sports. Don't you think you're simplifying too much? I mean, frankly, parental control, sport, hardly affect violence. Well, why not? It might not solve the problem altogether, but it could make a difference. Anyway, you're much better qualified as a psychiatrist to tackle this problem. My kind of problems are usually surgical rather than mental. I don't want a big guard dog, and, and I'm not a violent person, as you all know. You really hurt her. Fuck, bitch. You've ruined me, you Corey, bitch! <laughs> You're such a silly girl. You're asking to be beaten up. We just want to have fun, nothing more. <laughs> hey! You'll do better to find out if your dick's still working, Tiger. What do you mean? It's working all right. I'll show you it's working. Better do it, Theo, or he might get other ideas. No. Leave her alone, you bastard! Shut up! <laughs> Come on, you bitch! What are you waiting for? Still works. You did that very well, dear. Considering you're only a novice. The only thing is, we didn't see anything. Yeah, right. It's a shame we didn't see anything. Let's have her do a strip for us, or at least something, anyway. Uh, go on. Take your panties off. No, please. Don't ask me to do that. Haven't we done enough? Please leave us alone. Take it easy. You needn't be afraid. We simply want to see what's between your legs. I can't take them off. Please don't ask. Well, you better, sweetheart. 
Now then, take him off as the lady asked. <laughs> if you don't, I'll be forced to do it myself. I think you should take them right off, dear. Or we'll never see your little nookie. You filthy animals! Bastard! Shut up! Leave her alone! Leave her alone! No! 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 no. Shut up! No! Just let me do it, and I promise I won't hurt you. No, let her do it by herself. an audience. Ask him in. Yeah, please come in. <gasps> Excuse me, I was just passing. No, by. don't go. Stick around for a while. It's fun. You can join the action. It's all the same to you, isn't it, honey? And we don't want to disappoint the lady. Dirty uh, bitch. Uh, Get out the window. Uh, oh, I hope she didn't dirty my coat.
there I was, right in the middle dinner. of town with no pants. How embarrassing. Laura, may I have the honor of this dance? You're forgiven everything, Dr. Strat. <laughs> Thank you. Let's make a fresh beginning, all right? Does it make you sick to watch people screwing? Don't tell me you're a virgin. She's a virgin, she says. Do you think so? Leave her alone. Why, she's not a virgin, she's just lying. Be good. Go on, give it to her. Stop your wailing. God damn it. She's no good. Jesus, she's as tight as a frightened asshole. Do it another, huh? Hey, are you right out of your fucking mind? Put the knife away. Don't be an idiot. Mind your own bleeding business. That's it. Only cut her a little. I'm doing this for you, honey. You'll see you'll love it once your virginity's gone. You know, I was deflowered this way. A scalpel, actually. Yes, by a doctor. <laughs> I was pregnant, but I was also a virgin. No! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt her.
Oh, what are you doing, you crazy? You bitch. I ought to kill you now. This is your fault. But You're I... a mad woman, lady. What did I do wrong? Here. Take this. You're gonna need it. It wasn't anybody's fault. It was just one of those things. I... This hurts. And nobody will ever know. Tickets, please. The next station is where you two get off, okay? I've seen the station so empty. Yeah. It's freezing. What do you expect at this hour? You're looking forward to seeing her, aren't you? I sure am. Here it is now. Are you sure this is the right train? Well? Yes, this is the right train. And why aren't they on it? I don't know. I'm sure that's... Good morning, Dr. Stradi. Ah, hello there. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the same to you. Thanks. Are you waiting for your daughter? Uh, yes, she was supposed to be on that train. She started out in Munich, was to change at Verona, and yet there's no sign of her on it. She could have missed the Verona connection if her train was late. If you don't mind waiting a while, I'll put a call through to Verona and see yes, what happens. Wait, thanks a lot. Damn trains. They should have flown. That can be just as bad. I'm sorry about this, Doctor. Apparently, all the trains in Germany have had long delays, so I'm sure she must have missed her connection. Uh, what about the Munich train? When does that get to Verona? We could drive up and meet her there. They don't know yet exactly. I'm sorry. Now what? Listen, could you do us a favor? Telephone sure. us at the house when you have huh? definite news. Yes, That certainly. way we won't have to wait around here. Yes, certainly. I'd really I appreciate news, that. I would call you. Goodbye. All right. Goodbye.
Dr. Stradi, could you come for a moment, please? There's a woman in the waiting room who's hurt. I'll wait here. No, I won't be a minute, darling. I'm sure it's nothing serious. I'll be right back. This way, Doctor. Right. It's quicker around here. Sorry to bother you like this, but it looks like quite a nasty cut, and I wouldn't know what to do about it. really shouldn't have bothered. Oh, don't be silly. Now then, let's see what we've got here. How'd you manage to do this? Oh, I fell down in the street. So stupid of me. Well, it's not too serious, but it should have a couple of stitches <laughs> to hold it together. <laughs> You'll have to go to, uh, to emergency. There's a hospital nearby. <laughs> <laughs> to the hospital? Oh, no, doctor. I don't want to go to a hospital on Christmas Day. Well, there's not very much I can do. I'm sorry. Oh, please, Doctor. Well, I don't have any instruments here. Where are they? The house? Uh, yes, Couldn't that's right. you do it there? Well, all right, you'll have to come home. Thank you. You're an angel. Hall. It wasn't heated. Oh, well, uh, tell me, what made you decide to spend your vacation in Italy? Your family here? <laughs> no, we're camping near the lake. <laughs> ah. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's true, really. I met them at the campsite this morning. And they said they'd help me when they saw I was hurt. <clears throat> there we are. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Um, how much do I owe you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you don't owe me anything. That's very sweet of you, thanks. Um, do you think you could call me a taxi? Uh, well, let's see. It may be easier if I drive you in. Thank you. Uh, can you manage all right? Yes, <laughs> yes. Does it feel better? Yes, much better. Try and rest it as much as you can. Give it a chance to heal. Julio. Uh, yes, dear. I've got something to eat for them. Uh, this way. Oh, you didn't have to do this. Well, it's Christmas, and you have to eat. Mmm, this looks marvelous. I'll get it. No, my dear, they're not here yet. The trains have been delayed. Well, you know how traveling is these days. Don't worry, they'll be here soon. Yes, we're waiting to hear from the station now. Who is it, Julio? Here to Munich. She wanted to talk to Margaret. Don't hang up. I want to talk to her. Right. Hold on, Hertha. Laura wants to say hello. Fill her up, please. Hello there. Is that you, Louis? Yes. Yes, I'll be home in about a couple of hours, and I got the present you wanted. Afraid I missed the train. Tell Mama, huh? Yes. See you later, son. I'll never get a taxi today. How the hell will I ever get to the airport, huh? I don't know, sir. I guess you have to wait here for someone that's going that way. Is it all right? Mm, yes. Mm. Wonderful. You want coffee, darling? Yes, thanks. Here is the news. Thousands of people packed into St. Peter's Square this morning for Christmas Mass. The Pope blessed the crowd and later gave a special prayer for world peace. The service was heard and watched by millions of Catholics all over the world. An hour ago, the body of a 16 or 17-year-old girl was found by the Innsbruck Verona railway track. The police who are investigating this tragedy have not as yet ruled out the possibility of foul play. The medical it's Christmas Day, too. Violence and killing. I think I'll turn it off. During the past few weeks it's too depressing. Has now reached epidemic proportions. Are you feeling ill? 
A little. I feel a bit dizzy. Would you like to lie down? You should. Ah, uh, yes. I'll take you upstairs. Thanks very much. I think I know who killed that girl. You should look for a well-dressed young blonde woman. She's about 30 years old and is traveling with a couple of young thugs. I saw those three with two young girls on the train. What is your name, please, sir, and where are you calling from? They are the murderers. Julio? Julio? Yes? Listen, dear. Did you see that scarf he's wearing? The awful bright turquoise one, with a hand-painted picture on it. Well? Erta said Lisa bought one in Munich, and, well, I began to wonder. Wonder what? I don't know. Just intuition. I thought it was a strange coincidence. My dear, I bet they sold thousands of the things already. Uh... How is she? She's lying down. She's all right, I guess. What's up? Those two are on to us. <laughs> You're crazy. No, I'm sure of it. They've been looking at me strangely. Why don't you shut your mouth, you idiot? He probably knows you're shooting horse. I'll get it, dear. Hello, Dr. Strati. Hello, Doctor. This is the station master. Well, I'm glad you called. What news? Well, apparently that train from Munich had to be searched. They had warning there was a bomb somewhere on it. What did you say? A bomb? Yes, Doctor. Anyway, they had to search the whole train, everybody's baggage, and check passports and everything. That's why it was delayed. Yes, but did they find it? No, nothing. It must have been a hoax. It arrived at Verona in two hours. About two hours, you say? 11, 11.15. Fine. Fine. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Mm. You're welcome, Doctor. Is anything wrong, Julio? No, nothing's wrong. Nothing serious. The train was held up for a while. It'll be here in a couple of hours. I know what we'll do, Laura. We'll pick the girls up at Verona, all right? Put your coat on. I'll warm up the car.
Tell your friends to get ready. I'll drop you in town. Hey, you finished yet? Well, give us a ride in town. Yes, I'm ready. Jesus, ain't they got no crapper in this joint? They've got five or six. There's one through there. Merry Christmas, Doctor. Where's Lisa? Oh. Hello, Marie. She's not here yet, I'm afraid. That's strange. She called me yesterday evening from Austria. She tried to call you, but there was no answer. The train was stopped, so they were planning to come on a train directly from Innsbruck. Maybe they changed their minds. I don't know. I guess so. Well, when she gets in, tell her to call, will you? I'll be at home. All right, Marie, yes. Goodbye, Doctor. Bye, dear. Special news flash on the still unsolved Christmas Day tragedy. The body of another young girl has been found alongside the Innsbruck Verona track. Police have also recovered baggage and clothing that they think belonged to the two victims. One of the girls was definitely murdered on the train, having been violated with a knife. Police speculate that the second girl may have jumped from the train in terror and died as a result of the fall. From the articles found alongside the track, police have recovered one passport. It is that of Margaret Hollendorf, the resident of Munich, from one of the... Oh, my God. Oh, God, no. It can't be true. Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, Lisa. You killed him. That scarf was Lisa's. You were on the train with him. Oh, That's what are you why you're doing? at the station. I had nothing to you do with it. You and your friends nothing killed Margaret and Lisa. Nothing. It was you and your friends. Please listen to me. The others who did it. You were there too, so I'm going to kill you. But it was the others who did it. I had nothing to do with it. Don't you realize they're on drugs? And I'll kill them as soon as I've killed you. No, believe me. I couldn't help it. They said they'd kill me. They're crazy drug addicts. Don't you understand? There was nothing I could do. Julio! Julio, the radio! Lisa! Lisa, damn it! Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> Don't look at me. Sit down. Where are those two thugs? Huh? Oh, they're still in the house. Huh? All right, now you stay here. You stay here. Don't move from here. All right. Ah! 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 Ah!